Massachusetts is about to enter phase three, and we're learning more about what this entails. Next week, gyms, movie theaters, casinos, and outdoor venues will be allowed to reopen. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us now from Swansea with the new details. Governor Charlie Baker announced that phase three will start in Massachusetts on Monday, allowing gyms and fitness centers to open for the first time since March. We'll be opening at 5 a.m. on Monday. Owner of Swansea Total Fitness, Mark Garganta, spent Thursday building hand sanitizer stations and preparing the gym for its reopening next week. Also, have closed off certain machines that won't be available. Spacing equipment out 14 feet to adhere to the state's guidelines, more spacing than what the Total Fitness in Bristol, Rhode Island, had to do when they opened last month. And we've adhered to uh, Rhode Island standards. We've actually had three spot checks in Bristol, and we've gotten a high grade every time. Governor Baker announced Thursday that gyms and fitness centers will be allowed to reopen, as well as movie theaters and museums. Thanks to all your efforts, phase three will begin here in Massachusetts on Monday, July 6th. Changes won't begin in the city of Boston until the following Monday on July 13th, where the Red Sox will be allowed to play. Phase three will also authorize professional sport teams under the authority of league wide rules to hold games without spectators here in Massachusetts. Gyms planning to reopen will need to keep occupancy under 40%, require face masks, and sanitize equipment between each use. Bucket of wipes. Jason Harrington has sectioned off stations for members at CrossFit Prowess and Seekonk to work out in. The gym's owner is ready to reopen after watching other gyms already do so, less than a mile from him in Rhode Island. Disheartening that we couldn't open and provide that service to our members, but I think everybody understands that. Hey, the main objective is to keep everybody safe. Governor Baker says that phase three will last significantly longer than phase one and two, encouraging people to continue to wear face masks and social distance to prevent a spike in COVID 19 cases. Reporting in Swansea, I'm Robin Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.